Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Today I'll be unboxing the latest NAS unit from QNAP. This is their new TS869 Pro, sort of a bay NAS unit called Turbo NAS. Uh, for those of you who've seen my videos before, you know that I personally have a TS809 Pro. So between the 809 at the time, they also offer an 859. Uh, this is a um, demo unit that was sent to me by QNAP to do a sort of unboxing and review. Um, so here's the box. It's hard to tell the to scale, but this is a very heavy box. Uh, shipping weighs 40 pounds, so be careful when you guys are lifting it, when you guys do decide to purchase one. This is the front of the box, centralized storage. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, of course. Um, backup center for business, offers various array options. Um, just to show you a whole bunch of logos up front. Uh, so it's VMware ready, Citrus ready, Windows Server 2008, Hyper-V, uh, uses the Intel Atom processor. At the time when I was purchasing uh, the site between the A09 and A59 is that A59 was running on Atom and the A09 was running on a Core 2 Dual 2.8 GHz processor. So I felt like the Core 2 Dual will offer more performance benefit because the one thing great about QNAP is that they do support a lot of applications. They call it Q package for things like you can run, uh, install JRE, you can run um, apps. Let me think of apps. Uh, which one do I have? I have a, a proxy server. You can run sort of downloader, music, iTunes server. Um, just tons of great apps on, on the website. You can download and run off of it. So instead of having a dedicated server, you can use in the you can use the excess capacity from the QNAP unit and run a lot of the applications there. Um, so this is a, a 2.1 gigahertz um, Atom processor and uses a DDR3 RAM, which is user upgradable, SATA drive, and USB 3.0. Uh, let's see to the side of the box. Oof. A lot of drive specializations. The thing is, in looking at the pictures, um, I'll just show you the unit. It's a very powerful box. Um, I have mine for about a year and a half, and I absolutely love it. Except, I'm running low on space. So, so open the box to show you that to set up Turbo NAS in three easy steps. Um, let me show you. That's what's right on the lid. Is to turn on the NAS, select the RAID configuration, and execute the RAID configuration, and you're done. Very simple. And they've been constantly releasing um, firmware updates, which enhance capabilities and allow you to use uh, Time Machine with almost every single major upgrade of Mac OS. Because every time Apple does something, apparently breaks a lot of other uh, time machine backup options that's non-Apple but they've been doing a very good job of keeping that, that up. So inside, um, since this is a demo unit I don't know if this is exactly how you will receive it uh, with a retail package. So here is the uh, power cord, very standard. Uh, they use the standard ATX power supply with them too. And you get a little accessory box. Else in the box. Here's the unit. Now the big box is out of the way. It's very well packaged. We can zoom in at the unit for a closer look. Um, first is the accessory box. Inside you get um, the key sets so you can lock the hard drive tray. This is for more of a office environment where you want to prevent access, unauthorized access. And a whole bunch of mounting screws. There are two different versions. Um, the silver one I believe is for the three and a half inch drives and the black ones are for two and a half inch. So you can use the high performance drives if you want or laptop drives, give you the option. 
free firmware update. They have never charged for any firmware update, which is different than the experience I have with the ReadyNAS system. Um, after the, they were acquired by Netgear, they're charging for certain features as an upgrade. So far, um, all the up firmware upgrade from QNAP, they were free. So, good to know. Two Ethernet cord, uh, the black standard Cat5 or 5E, cannot tell, but they're, they're very pretty standard. Um, installation disk and quick installation guy. So, probably don't need it, but if you do, they're here. Okay, this unit. So here's the unit itself in the front. You have the power button right on the lower left side and the copy button with the front USB port. And on the top right side, you have an enter and select button. So this basically allows you to have a computerless configuration. So you can set up some basic things through this menu and then there's a built-in screen right here and there's some status light right there show you status LAN USB eSATA and here are the A base you have eight drive base uh, someone out okay since these are um, when you want to do a RAID array the number one thing to remember is that for the best performance is to have identical drives of the identical size so you can um, basically the RAID uh, when you create them they go for the lowest common denominator so if you have one slow drive in the single array you basically slow down the entire array for that slowest drive so um, I don't have any eight identical drives lying around and I don't want the drive difference to hinder the performance so I asked QNAP kindly to include some drives so that I can test them out. Um, the drives they have included is the Samsung um, one terabyte desktop drives is the ST1000 DM005 they're made by Samsung. So here they are and SATA as you can see they're already mounted which is very nice and to show you that the three and a half inch are mounted with the side screws and for two and a half inch they pre-marked the screws so that's for the two and a half inch drive very nice um, to install you just sort of insert and, and pop in uh, very easy and look, let's look at the port options um, so the front, you have the power button on this side um, and a USB port up front, this is USB 2.0 and it has a copy button so what this feature is that you can back up your USB key by just simple insert up front and hit the copy button and that will <coughs> config via the software to back up the entire USB key to a volume on the NAS itself as you can see, there's two ginormous um, 120 or I would say 120 millimeter fans. And on top, there's a little tiny fan for the power supply, I believe. And this is a power connector. And all the major ports are right over here. This is a little bit different than what I read online. Because um, when I read online for the actual specs for the 869, is that you're actually allowed to upgrade the graphic card but I don't see the graphic card upgrade option but you have an HDMI, a VGA which is used to service port but I have no idea what HDMI is uh, in this case it's a NAS unit you can't hook up a TV to it this would be uh, quite strange um, two USB 3.0 which you didn't get with the a59 or A09 um, to Ethernet so you can either do aggregate or separate low balancing fail that sort of stuff you have four USB 2.0 so you have total of five plus the one up front and two eSATA port for expansion 
So that's pretty amazing um, how much port they are. Um, hmm. While I was looking online, they're also saying the memory is an upgradable user serviceable option. Um, so let's take a look at that real quick. It's two gigabyte RAM comes with the unit. But given the price of RAM nowadays, pretty cheap. So six screws removed. It's pretty interesting to look inside. So now you're looking at the unit from the right side. Um, so this is where the drive tray is, where you pop out the hard drive tray. And right on top, you have an ATX power supply. It's AT, it's 80 plus bronze rated. Um, so it's definitely very serviceable, which is the two more screws you can remove it. And the memory is also accessible. There are two memory slots. Um, so there's a clip behind the P1. Try to unclip it. Doesn't let me. Or is it not clippable? Yeah, I don't think I can unclip it. But there's definitely one memory slot behind it. But this is the one right here. Um, user serviceable. That's what they call. You don't even have to remove the uh, the shield. You can just lift it and insert a um, laptop RAM, low profile. So serviceability is definitely there because uh, when when it comes to any NAS unit, you want to make sure the hard drive is easy to swap because that's the thing that most likely to fail. And power supply is the second most likely item to fail. You want to make sure that's also swappable. And the last thing is the controller. Um, since you're paying for the appliance, the controller is basically the entire motherboard itself. Um, do not think it's serviceable at that point. You probably had swapped out the whole thing. So, so here it is. Um, but I do not see an upgrade option for the network card, which is a little bit surprising, different than the picture I've seen online, which had an open slot in the back where it allowed you, you to purchase a sort of half height PCI Express network card to. Uh, upgrade this so you can have 10 gigabit connection but otherwise um, everything is steel um, except for the front face which is plastic but everything else the housing is very durable steel construction uh, let's put it back together Whew. pretty simple to put back together um, so there you have it um, this is the unboxing video actually a little bit Went a little bit inside to show you how to upgrade the memory on this. Um, this, is, this is the another unboxing video of the QNAP A69 Pro NAS unit. Um, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.